Hi, Taurus. This is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless reading for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and any cross watcher. We're going to ask Spirit what's next in love, what's going on around you. Let's see what we have. Spirit, if you can please share with me any loving messages. I am listening for you now. What is it you need me to hear? Is it me or you that I'm afraid of? Oh boy, we have some fear in this connection. We have some fear. So let's see what we're hearing. I now know that I need you. So I'm realizing that I need you. I'm realizing that I want this connection. I want to believe that this is real. That's always a biggie. And let's get a couple more of these. I ache for the way we were. I want more. Something like that. And let's get one more. There's something I need you to know. So I need you to talk to me. I know now that I need you. I think that what's really going on, or at least the energy I'm feeling, is I have a sense of, I just want to make sure this is real. I just want to make sure that I'm not wasting my time. I just want to make sure that we both feel the same way. I need you to tell me, you know, how you're feeling. There's something you should know. There's, um, I'm, I've been holding back in some way or I'm afraid to be vulnerable with you. Something along those lines. Let's see what your cards are saying. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. I'm so grateful that Spirit has guided you here today. Spirit, please share with me any loving energy. Tell me what's going on in this connection from my Taurus today. We want to eliminate the fear. We want to be on the same page. I have a seven of wands. So this is coming into me as I won't give up. Okay. A uh, little bit of a, I won't, um, I won't give up on us. Um, and I, you know, I want, I want you to feel the same way. And I guess we need to make that clear the maybe one of us hasn't been, you know, completely honest with their feelings. And, and it's, it's very much this feeling of I just have to know, are we on the same page? Did I just say page? <laughs> Did I just say page? I need to know, are we on the same page? Uh, Ten of Pentacles, because I want to start thinking ahead. All right. I want to start thinking about could we be together in the long term? Is this going to turn into somebody that I could see myself in the future with? Um, I'm starting to for something that I've always wanted, something I've always hoped for. So I feel like one of you is starting to project into the future and we need some answers. We need to understand, is this person thinking along those lines? Are they um, moving in the same direction at the same speed as us? So I feel like that's what's going on. I do feel like you have a soul connection. And I really like this energy of I don't want to give up or I won't give up on us. So one of you maybe is going a little bit slower or holding back. And the other one is saying, you know, are we headed in this direction? Are we headed on making plans or um, starting to talk about some kind of future together? I, I feel like it's time. It's time to talk. It's time to decide or at least part, you know, start to hear pieces of it. So we feel a little bit more um, secure emotionally. Look at this. Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups. Yeah, so I, we need to talk. We need to talk. We need to talk about our emotions. And one of you needs to be more open. Like this queen could step forward and say, I'll go first. You know, I love you and I can see us together. Do you feel the same way? And if you've got somebody who's hemming and hawing over answering those types of questions, you have to really wonder, is this somebody that I really want to be with? Because you really want somebody who is able to say, yeah, we're moving in that direction. I, I feel the same way. So I think that that's really important. So seeking clear clarity. Here's my King of Swords and here's my Queen of Swords. So you are going to talk. You guys are going to have a big heart to heart. <laughs> You're going to have a big heart to heart. But I feel like it's good. I do. I feel like 
we are going to get the answers that we are seeking, Spirit just said. Your person is going to either admit their feelings or at least admit the direction that they feel or the stage that they feel that this connection is, okay? The first thing I know for sure is we don't wanna give up on this. Well, both of us don't wanna give up on this, but we wanna make sure we're, we are both feeling the same way. And I think that that's what we need to talk about is, are we moving in the same direction? As simple as that. Spirit, what do we have for this connection? What do you want them to know today? Looks. Okay, I guess they're attracted to you. It says losing weight, toning up, a new look, looking younger, getting more attention. So one of you could have uh, made significant changes in your look, lost a lot of weight, going to the gym. There could be some insecurity going on. I'm getting jealous. I'm afraid somebody's going to steal you away. I'm afraid that you're going to want to be with somebody else. So there could be some um, insecurity issues on, on somebody's part because of the changes that somebody has taken. Now, I will give a little bit of warning to people that sometimes when people People do things like changing their hair, changing their clothes, and all of a sudden they're in good shape, but they weren't before. Um, it could be signs of somebody's having an affair also. So you want to be a little bit careful with that, but I don't necessarily think it's connected to this connection, but just as a side note, but right now I feel like somebody's a little bit insecure with I could lose you because you're looking pretty good. And I think other people are taking notice of you. Um, I have witchcraft, but I don't believe in witchcraft other than a feeling of somebody feels that, you know, there's a, a black cloud over them or every time I do something like luck hasn't been on my side. I'm just going to say it that way. Maybe luck hasn't been on somebody's side and maybe they've been dealing with other issues, Spirit said. They haven't been as attentive or putting as much attention into this connection as they normally do. They've just been kind of going for the ride and there has to be a little bit more give and take, but whatever, you know, bad luck that they think it is, it's not bad luck, it's just life. And they have to find more balance, spirit saying. So it's more about balance than it is about bad luck. Um, having a party, hosting a party, looking like a couple. So that is, I feel, almost like a crossing over point where we are showing up at a family function or we are showing up at a wedding as the significant other or the plus one and we're being introduced to everybody and it's obvious that we are in a relationship. So maybe we haven't gone to that level and we need to be at that level because it, it's a sense of respect. It's a sense of, I am your partner. I have been sleeping with you. We can't have a private life and nobody knows about us. So I do feel like there's like a crossing over point. I'm going to say it that way, that whatever this crossing over point, it's we become public. Okay. We become I don't even know how to say it, um, an item, <laughs> I guess. We're now an item would be the way to say it, something like that. Um, social media. Okay, so that could be it. It could be the crossing over of, I mean, it sounds silly, but on Facebook, you know, you're in a relationship with so-and-so. Um, you're engaged to so-and-so. You, uh, you're, you're no longer, your status on, on social media is no longer single. It's in a relationship, you know, so it could be something like that. Maybe that's something that is important to, to us. So uh, something is going on with this crossing over to me today. Spirit, please share with me. What is it you need me to know? Spiritual assistance. Your angels are guiding you. The number 36 could have meaning to somebody. I have sacrificing. Now, the sacrifice coming into me isn't necessarily a sacrifice as much as a sacrifice of time. So if what we're asking spirit today is where are we going and do we want the same thing? The sacrifice is I don't want to spend a year of my life or two years of my life to wake up one day to realize that 
you didn't want a relationship that was going to end in a committed relationship. And that's something that I always wanted. So I feel like the sacrifices, I don't want to lose time. I don't want to waste my time. So I think that that's really important to know and to get some clarification on right from the beginning as early on as you can. And then I have laughter. I want to take off my mask. I want to open up my heart. I want to, Spirit just said, believe in this connection. I want to have a good time. And they are giving it a union. They are giving it a union. Like from the moment I, I met you, I feel like we're supposed to be in union. So I do feel confident in this connection. I just want to feel that it's more concrete, that we actually have said the words, yes, I see us moving in that direction. Yes, I want to have a future with you. So I feel like that heart to heart is, is bound to happen and it's time for it to happen. It's time. Let's see what they're saying. I have a queen of wands. So they only desire you is how it just came into me. I have strength, a little bit of a patient strength, waiting game for somebody. And then I have an eight of wands, a shift in direction, this crossing over point that I feel something has changed within them that they're ready to talk. They're ready to share. They answer a question that they didn't answer before. Uh, something along those lines. Here's the two of pentacles with this kind of back and forth, uh, weighing the pros and cons of, you know, where, where do we go from here? But there's more pros than there are cons. And there's a lot more reason to, I don't want to give up on us than there is that um, to get to throw in the towel for sure. I have a page of wands. So I, that just came into me as it's only going to get better. I, I really like it. This is how we feel now. It was almost a sense of it's only going to get better once we both know, you know, where we stand with each other. Nothing is worse than feeling like you're in limbo and not knowing what's going on in a connection. So it's very important that both people are very expressive as soon as possible, you know, what is what the expectations of the connection is. I have a knight of wands. Yeah, it's only going to get better. <laughs> the passion is only going to get better. The excitement is only going to get better. And I have a four cup. So that is a, again, the patience of I need to know your emotions. I need to, I need you to open up. I need you to express exactly what is going on. Let's see if they'll share with me some feelings. So if they haven't expressed these feelings, maybe in the heart to heart coming uh, soon, then maybe we'll start to hear some of these things. So we want to know spirit, you make me smile, you make me happy. That's important. And people fall in love with somebody based on how do you make them feel? If you make them feel good about themselves, I can guarantee you that they're falling in love with, with you. Uh, I do love you. Thank you, spirit. I look into your eyes and see my soul mirrored back at me. So you could be the first person that they are more of a deep soul connection. And that could come out, out, of, out and say, yeah, I definitely feel a lot um, a deeper commitment to you than I felt to anybody else. So that could be coming to the surface and you make me feel at home. So I, I, I'm going to go with that. This, you know, when you feel at home with somebody, their, their, their intentions are they want to stay. Their intentions are they do want to move forward. So I, I think we have good news coming. I, I feel like this crossing over point, I don't know how to call it. We become an item is kind of how I feel. But I also like the sense of like some kind of an announcement or it doesn't even have to be a verbal announcement. The announcement is that you show up with this person at a family function. You walk in, you guys are holding hands. It's obvious that you guys are together and you get to meet everybody. I feel like that it's that kind of event. Um, so that could be a big deal for both of you. And then I think life goes on and you just continue on this journey together. So let's put this out into the universe, Taurus. I think it's a great connection. I encourage you to spend more time in this connection. I want to thank Spirit for these messages today.
If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you always for your kind words, everybody. If anybody would like to book a private reading with me, please check out my website at kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.